Hi, it's Jacob Persley from Yerevan, Armenia. It's October 9th of 2021. I have another miracle story from the last war that happened last year of a soldier that was saved and how he was saved. Listen, this is amazing. So today I was in Orange. I was at a place in English called Levon's Divine Underground. It's a, a man that for 23 years dug underneath his house, about 10 stories down, tunnels and uh, rooms and so forth. So I was there with my family to go visit this place. And I was talking to Levon's wife. Levon has now passed away. Her name is Tosia. So Tatik Tosia was there and I was talking with her and she and I asked her, well, there's this thing on the shelf in her house, and it was a New Testament, a Bible. And I said, well, wh what is that? And our, I, I saw pictures of soldiers that were on her, on her counter. I said, well, are these your sons? Are these your grandchildren? She said, yes, these were my grandchildren. And she said, this Bible saved my grandson's life. His name is Samvel, and he was there defending last year, if, if you don't know, Azeris, Turks, and hired Islamic thugs from Syria attacked the Republic of Artsakh, and they also were bombing and attacking in Armenia as well. And so people and where I live here in Yerevan, Armenia, came and, and from all over this region went to go defend their lands that were being attacked by Muslim Islamic terrorists from all around. We have three million people in the country and we were attacked by about 100 million people uh, when you look at population, and I called it a David versus Goliath situation. It was an unjust war, but they attacked to take lands that were not historically theirs and, uh, and to basically just kill. And well, anyway, so this is the story. Uh, Sambel was carrying a New Testament in his pocket when he was at war. And uh, please watch the entire video because I'm going to have pictures of the New Testament that Sambel. Uh, had in his pocket. I'm going to show you where it was opened to and I'm going to show you pictures of Tosia, Tatik Tosia, the grandmother Tosia, uh, uh, holding the Bible and some other uh, things that uh, I'm going to explain in the video. So basically uh, a bullet came and he was shot at and it entered into the Bible and the Bible stopped the bullet from going into his heart and um, he was wounded in other places but he is alive and uh, she said this was a miracle of God and God saved my grandson. And I truly believe that. So when I looked at the, the Bible, when it was open, this is the verse that there's a little a marker in Bibles. So if you ever read your Bible, they come with, and I have my Bible at here, they come with a little marker on it like this. So uh, when I opened it up, it just happened to be opened up and the bullets where it went through the holes was in two places coming from the book of 2 Timothy in the uh, New Testament. And it was one of the bullet holes was going through 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 11 through 12. And it says this, This is a trustworthy saying. For if we have died with him, we will also live with him. And the him is Jesus Christ, meaning if we've died to ourself and, uh, and we, he, you know, he died on the cross for our sins, and um, it says that our, we have been crucified with him, meaning that our, our sins and our guilt and shame on the cross were taken away. And our old man uh, that we were a slave to is, is crucified. Now it says if we live, we live with him. So Jesus Christ rose again three days later from the dead. And we also have the hope that when we die, we'll have a resurrection to new life, eternal life with new bodies. And it says, verse 12, if we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. So that's where one of the bullet holes was it right at the verse, and uh, and also and it was also in Second Timothy chapter two verses uh, twenty five. The bullet went right through that verse in verse twenty five. It says right here, um, and I'll read in context, starting in verse twenty four, and says, "And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome." but kind to everyone, able to teach, patiently enduring evil. Well, that's fitting. And this is where the, the bullet went right through. Correcting his opponents with gentleness, 
God may perhaps grant them repentance, leading them, leading to a knowledge of truth, that they may come to their senses and escape from the snare of the devil after being captured by him to do his will. That is by no coincidence that the verse was not that was open there. For Azeris and Turks and these Islamic terrorists, they have been captured by Satan to do his will, to murder, to lie, to be deceitful, and to steal. And, uh, and here it is, is that God may perhaps grant them repentance to the knowledge of the truth. That's the only hope that they have because right now um, uh, they're going to hell. And because of their sin, because of uh, their actions, because of their choices, and because they have chosen not to follow the true God, the God of the Bible, the Old and New Testament, and they have not believed in His Son, Jesus Christ, uh, for the forgiveness of their sins and have not turned from their sins and repented. And so it's, it's interesting here that uh, that's where the bullet uh, came through, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2. I just have one more thing to say, and I'm going to make this uh, close. Please watch the video with the videos, with, with the pictures at the end, okay? Don't miss that. And it says in Psalm uh, 91, this is a, a, uh, Psalm 91 is a soldier's psalm where a lot of soldiers read this, they pray this when they're out in battle, if they're having to defend their countries or unjust uh, uh, countries that would uh, try to attack. And it's pretty interesting in Psalm 91. Again, I, I rec I'm going to have that at the very end so you can see some of the verses. It says, verse 7, A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. And really, this is, a, this is for believers that, uh, that you, you can trust in the Lord and uh, people will fall to your left and right. But if you have made God your Lord and say, I trust in you alone for my salvation, for my life, for everything that I'm doing, uh, you're in a good place. You have hope. And even if you do die, you go right to heaven and you'll be in eternity with no pain, no tears, no sickness, no illness, and you're going to be with God forever. So uh, encouraging story from Sambel. And I encourage uh, others, go, if you're in Armenia, go visit uh, Arinj, the Div Lavon's Divine Underground uh, uh, house that he has there. And uh, encourage Tatik Tosia and the children and uh, hear from her about what happened to our son, you can go and look at the New Testament and you can see uh, the bullet hole in the Bible. All right, God bless you guys. Bye.